welcome to the show. This is Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. This is like seriously welcome, guys. No, we're actually <laughs> supposed to do like the Christian in. intro. I'm sorry, this is not the Christian intro. Okay, so it's like this in R2 TV. I'm Ilo Say with the flow. Who are you? Did you like who am I? I'm, I'm oh confused. my god, you forgot his name. <laughs> You're confused. I'm I am confused. <laughs> and who are you? Hey guys, I'm okay, and this is like seriously. Yeah. I get to do that again. <laughs> okay, so we have hashtag news, we have bits and skills, we had expressions, Express and then we have like seriously moments. All that and loads more right here on this. <laughs> you, was go, you was going to say something. Yeah. All like seriously, don't go anywhere. Stick around. We'll be back in a bit. <laughs> no one's serious. I'm so useless. So, so bloody useless. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? It's Fallout. Balancing your lifestyle. A lot of people like to play games, movies, dance, and a whole lot of stuff. Personally, I like to play games, you know. Call of Duty. Cover me! Co cover me! Mortal Kombat. Street Fighter. A joke? A joke again? You know what I'm trying to say now. You guys like playing games a lot. Some people like food. Glutons. We all know them. Some people listen to music the whole day, forgetting to read books. You have to balance everything, you Just do everything in the right proportion. Uh, I think I'm done. You guys should understand what I'm trying to say. I don't like to talk too much. I mean, it reduces my swag. So, I'm done. Peace. Peace, guys. Peace. Uh, sorry, peace is two fingers, so peace. And R2TV, too. So, peace. Yeah. Oftentimes, one hears about stories of people who have fallen victims to fraudulent scams while trying to acquire, buy, leave, or rent a property. I wept like a baby in my name. How could they have protected themselves better? If a developer do not have all his papers, government could mess him up. What steps could they have taken, legally or otherwise? It's to investigate. You can put all the million, but to pay a lawyer three million will be difficult. The process of investigation may involve lawyers, may involve accountants, may involve real estate agents. My name is Nonso Umezoke, and welcome to the Real Estate Sector. Show. It's still like us in the R2 TV. And while we're on the break, we're doing some karaoke. Yeah, Ooh. you know, something. Yeah, and I was doing the fish dance, you know. I don't, no, I don't I think, think I actually actually didn't know I could dance like this. Like this, Michael Jackson, old school something. Wow, Fola is a dancer. He <laughs> thumbs up. Okay, so it's hashtag news. Let's go. Yes, guys, this is hashtag news. And as you know, we are always bent on giving you the best in everything entertainment. Bent. Okay, it's never ah, that, that serious, man. It's horrible. never that serious. Okay, first off, Justin Timberlake is a new daddy. No, 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 you're so not why, the new daddy. So happy about it's it? Justin Timberlake. So recently, his wife Jessica Bill just gave birth to his very own baby boy. Mm, so yeah, cute. yeah, well, well, so cute. Have you seen the baby? Yeah. We've, you I saw don't the think baby. we've seen him yet. Yeah. We've not seen him yet. I don't think your pictures. You know what I'm saying? Have you been having Do you? Are you kind of related? To I've it? seen the baby, and the baby's I, cute. The baby's black. Uh, okay, now if the baby is black, Justin. I'm that was sorry. a wrong joke. That was a wrong <laughs> joke. The baby's cute though, although I've not seen the baby. But the baby has to be just to build just to like Okay, anyways, his name is Silas. His his daddy's namesake and his granddaddy's namesake too. Mm. So that's really Silas, cute. Silas Kendall. Yeah. Uh, I would have Wendell. named that baby something yeah, different. Yeah, Silas Wendell. Wendell. Which is actually Timberlake. really weird because of this, you know, celebrities have babies. They name them Blanket, mm. Chew, Dustbin. Uh, no, but I, I, I would have named that baby something different. You want to know what it is? What? Justica Bill. Wow, wow. That is so cool. Wow, like, really? Justin, you don't wait. What's wrong with it? Justica Bill. Mm -mm. Justin Cabill. Justin Cabill. Why would it's his surname be Bill? It's just the fun of it. Justin Cabill Lake. <laughs> Seriously, that's something for This is what happens when you deal with two of these. Two of these, like yeah, I don't even know what to tag. I have no idea. You right. said it, not me. I Moving forward. Okay, so Taylor Swift's mom was diagnosed with cancer. <sighs> now yeah. she went on Tumblr to inform her fans mm. Mm. because her mom wanted this. She yeah. says, "We are so grateful that you love us so much, yeah. and we're willing to share this this with you because I yes. always share everything." That happens yeah, in my life with everything. you guys, but mm. this is an unfortunate event, and I'm sharing it with you now. She was telling us so that we can go. And get our parents checked out. Yeah, she yeah. said it was actually a birthday. Um, yeah, Christmas she, gift yeah. she her. told her mom to give her that as a Christmas, Christmas gift to go for a checkup. Mm -hmm. And when she did, she found out that she was. And she's parents, actually 
cancerous, basically. Yeah. Apparently, uh, the mom wasn't really feeling any, yeah. you know, silly. I guess she hadn't got into that point yet. No, I remember um, Taylor's mom, Andrea Finley, who's 57, actually retired to take care of the children. Exactly. And she's been on every tour, almost every tour Taylor has, you know, been, been on. Been yeah. on. And it's just, it's really cool to see how they support each other as mother and daughter. Yeah. The, the support bounces off each other. So just really I curious. wish, I hope everything goes really well. I hope she takes to treatment really well. And mm. I'm really sorry for you, Taylor, because it's really difficult for you to go through something like this. I think she needs more of support now. Yeah. Than the, the mom has really gone through a lot of stuff because there was a time, I think last year, you know her parents are split. They mm. split, up, yep. split up or something like that. And her mom was trying to keep it secret just because she's, you know, she's a star and everything. Yeah. And they were just trying to make it nice for her. That, that is really what trying. you call a power mom who looks at her children first. My mom doesn't follow me on tours. I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe because she's not your mom. Yeah, but uh, our support go, goes out to Taylor and her mom. Remember recently, Taylor lost one of her biggest fans, a four-year-old girl, to cancer, cancer as well. Exactly. So please, the, the, the um, awareness of cancer is getting bigger. We need to you know, be aware of this. and Go, go have check a checkup. You know, a checkup check can never kill you. Okay, just yeah. get you away. We should all, I think we should just do something really sweet for her. We should go on her, whatever social media you can go on and send your love and support to her, whatever way you can, so she knows that her fans are yes. completely behind yes. her. Yes, and also, <laughs> let's make Shake It Up get to a billion views. Yeah, that's, 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 that. that's They've been uh, trying to make it get to a billion views via really? social media. Yeah, hashtag Shake It Up uh, to a billion. So uh, let's shake it up to a billion, so shall just we? just go to China where there are like 440 billion people. Yeah, and we should also <laughs> take it really seriously. Cancer really does occur. And mm -hmm. we, should, we should go and get checkups ourselves and get mm -hmm. our parents to do so as well so that we, are, we know what is going on in our bodies. Yes, true. It's quite true scary that. to do yeah, checkups really anyway, scary. but you have to do checkups. True. Okay, guys, so Solange knows partner was stabbed 10 times in New Orleans, yeah, Amin Musa. Armin, 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 Armina sorry. Musa. Armina. Armina yeah. Musa, she was stabbed about 10 times in front of her house or so also. Yeah, in front Shower of a friend's house, basically. And why, why, why so much violence? They had a disagreement, was... really, but nobody talked about Listen, disagreement. Listen, okay, this is my point, yeah? You have a disagreement with somebody. You don't have to stab to prove your point. Yeah. Actually, the story behind it was um, that the person who stabbed her actually was a friend of her ex or her, her ex's friend. And the lady came to the house where she was to see the supposed friend, but Amina was not cool with it. She told her to leave. The lady was like, no, that why would she leave? She's not doing anything and wrong. you stabbed oh, somebody. So apparently her defense was that Amina had already started hitting her first. Oh, so please. she did it out of self-defense. Like Kill she went somebody? To, she said she went to her car and then she got like a, all these like flip knives. Whoa. Like just to, to like scare her back and be like, back off, back off. But, I guess apparently she claimed that Amina started punching her and to defend herself, she started punching her with the knife. Knives, yeah. That's okay. So she punched know, her know, with the knife ten Christoph, times. Isn't it? Yes. I know it's Christoph. So I it's just... unfortunate because at the moment she's in a hospital and she's pretty critical. Um, yeah. Solange had to leave the Coquela event that she went for to come and be with her no, friend and support her. Yeah, the one in LA. Uh, so please, a shout out to all our fans out there who are watching us right now. Listen, there's something I want you guys to understand. Violence is never the answer. I remember the rapper from Squatter Camp who was killed by his girlfriend, allegedly stabbed, uh, that's what report said, he was allegedly stabbed by his girlfriend to death because they had a fallout. Okay, please, violence is never the answer. You don't have to stab somebody to prove your point. If, they, if, you, you, if you guys have a quarrel, try selling it. If you can't sell it, walk away, please. But I, I think, I don't think this is normal, stabbing people to just prove your point. I think it's something that has to do with the brain. It's not a normal. No, that's see, like no, trying to kill somebody. That's is, like madness. No, the thing is, I'm, I'm pretty sure Oge will agree with me on this. Anger, when you're angry, you don't know the things you do. I think you're not very really conscious of it. It's for you to learn how to control your anger. Yes. That's I just, feel that it was unnecessary for her to have taken the knife out in the first place. If you were trying to defend yourself, you exactly. could have dropped that knife and used your fist, lady. As in, seriously. Maybe she felt... She claimed that the force of the punches was enough for her to stab her with and I'm like you could yeah. have equally used similar force without the knife. Or can better I still if you cannot fight run away. Can I ask a question? <clears throat> now she claimed that the the, pun the force of the punches made her was enough to make her use a knife. Does she have any stab wounds from the punches? She had no, apparently Probably not and so swollen, far swollen the lady joints. the Amina Musa at the moment she has stabs not just in one area but in different parts of her body she has stabs in her neck which Pretty, pretty fatal stabs that could actually cause that her death. Very <laughs> so the lady was, the other lady was actually charged with... Um, second degree murder. No, I saw first. Then they now increased it to second degree murder. At the moment, she is in prison. So I guess she serves her right. And then, we, our heart goes out to Solange, Solange knows. knows yeah. I heard and I Solange hope, came all the yeah, way from she came Italy and she had to To support her friend and her family. And yeah. it's really unfortunate. Oh. And I hope everybody learns from this. 
Violence is not the answer. It's not the answer. It's really though. not the answer. Learn to control your anger. Hashtag really say important. no to violence. Yes, hashtag say no to violence. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, so Kanye West, as we all know, is on the, is in the, on the news again. Uh -huh. Mr. Ego. So he says that he com he compares his ego to a really large, ugly table in his home. <laughs> Why do they have to tag the table as ugly, though? Ugly. Well, he said it's ugly because he hates it. He doesn't like the table. He says the, the table reminds him of a nouveau riche kind of table. You know, it's mm. new, newly rich people, unfortunately. Yeah. It's, I'm sure it's Kim that did that, but oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> so he says that whenever he looks at the table, it reminds him of his ego. Because no matter how much they try to dress up that table, somehow it just comes out. Just like his ego. I'm just like here. his ego. You know, like his ego. <laughs> what did he say? The juice said, bag never nah, goes high. Exactly. He said, he, said, he said, like, no matter the number of photos, you know, the paparazzi and everything, that his juice bag is just going to keep, you know, blossoming and shining out. That's but he gives, he gives Akola to his wife and his daughter, yeah. saying that if not for them, <laughs> he would probably still be in that state said, of ego. Because now do. he's putting his attention on his family and not his ego. Before them, what he, all he had was his ego. ego. Yeah. Right now he has his family, so yeah. kudos to you, Kim. Said. At least you're doing something right there. You know, you know, it's, no, what do you mean, at least you're doing something? You know, it's, okay. amazing how, <laughs> it's amazing how Kanye West transformed. I, I used to be a huge fan of Kanye West. Wait, so you don't like him now? I'm, I didn't say I don't like him, but I'm not a huge fan anymore. <laughs> He used to be, you know, this church boy that did good music, and he was pretty humble at that time. Still and then, does good music. Now it's so he. Oh, don't uh, get my point wrong. Dark. Now he still does great music, but yeah, then yeah. you know, putting, changing your Bible, putting certain parts of the Bible where there was God, he put Kanye West. He did the really? Happy Easter. Yeah, he put, put, posted a picture on his Instagram page of himself with the crown of thorns that Jesus Christ had on, and then he said Happy Easter. You know, it's just it's so much that he's transformed from. A very quiet church boy to something different. I yes, guess I, I guess fame does that now. to you. Fame, okay, exactly. moving on, we have Jaden Smith stepping out yeah. in a dress. Pathetic. And before this... he did that, he tweeted about it, saying, "I'm going shopping." He's going shopping for girl clothes. clothes. Really? So he was he actually going dressing. But let's not look at it from the point of view because he actually apparently he's claiming that he's not homosexual. He's just really a major fan of girl. male high fashion. Male high yes, fashion. Yes, you guys wear the really long sleeve shirts. That is not male high fashion. Can I ask fashion? a question? A lot of people weird. look at it as major high fashion. Can I ask That's a question? Well. Does that look like major high fashion? He's nah. wearing a see-through top. He's wearing his black skirt. See-through top with denim shorts and... Just How is that? Wrong. His defense is that Kanye does it. So why can't Kanye he? Doesn't Kanye, Kanye, Kanye doesn't dress Kanye like actually, that. Yeah, there's actually male, high fashion male skirt. Kanye does... Go oh, please. As far as I'm concerned, now it's totally female. Anyways, he's... His parents don't have a problem with it. He even says that his sister even borrowed some of his stuff. You know, it's funny <laughs> how you know it's funny how Will Smith comes out to say, "Oh, my son is not a slave to money. My son doesn't buy you know so much. My son only has uh, three shirts, five pants, and about three shoes. My son is this. My son is that." And then you don't have a problem with your son coming out. So I don't. I really don't. I'm not judging anybody. But basically, mm -hmm. if you're going to defend your kid, defend him when he's doing the right thing. Don't defend him when he's doing the wrong thing. No, it might not be wrong. It's something his he just family, wants. his parents actually say that they do not have a problem with exactly. his fashion. That they actually think it's pretty cool. But it's the same with Smith that so, said he doesn't have a fashion sense. Well, I guess he's finding out his fashion sense now. Yeah, probably three. And his parents don't have a problem with it. So Stupid moving on, lights. Cairo Chetran is saying that she has no interest, interest. in getting back with Chris Brown oh. for, for now. now. Exactly. Uh, That's the point uh, she made for now. Uh, for now. Uh, you know, uh, earlier this week we saw something about she wanting to get back with Chris Brown. Yeah. So now the whole thing is changing. I don't no, you know, know the funny thing is I was following the story and she gave an interview, an exclusive interview to Hollywood Life, mm -hmm. and she told them that she has accepted Chris Brown and his baby. And uh, she's planning on getting back to him, but not yet. yet. So I'm just laughing. I'm like, it's not yet. You're, you're, you're already basically you're back not, with him. Not anytime soon. <laughs> okay, so she basically says that she has not spoken to him since the baby drama, but that with the whole Chris Brown thing, stalking her on Instagram and whatnot, that she doesn't have a problem with it, but she's just not ready to go back to him Trust yet. Me. That she wants to focus on building herself and that he should do his, do his thing and she will do hers. Then maybe later on, I guess. As far as I'm concerned, they're just doing this once for camera. I think. Yeah, really think definitely so doing it for camera. Like a lot. Mm. Oh, well, I guess that's, we just, that's, we've come to the end of Hashtag News. Actually. Yep, the Hashtag News is over. Uh, when we come back, we've got some interesting stuff lined up for you guys. And remember, the topic for expressions today. Yeah. What's your selling point? <laughs> what? Identify your selling Some people don't need their selling points. Ah. Okay, guys, so topic on expression is what's your selling point? Yep, Stick yep. around, do not go anywhere. Oh, yeah,
delight I got that you want, baby, let's make some love tonight Eat, put up the light, oh What you want, oh yeah, let's make some love tonight <laughs> Say you feel the wind, you feel the wind. and the breeze they blow In the end of body, cause I didn't catch you, oh no Oh yeah, keep it, put up the light I got that you want, baby, let's make some love tonight Baby, let's get to Malti Make we soft mathematics I know you like logistics We go do some chemistry today We go scatter the couch From the couch to the bed From the bed to the bedroom Make some sweet movie for jacuzzi Ooh, say what, say what, say what I like the way you they put down for me Yeah, you know what's up Hey, you they give me money, guy hey. Say what, say what, say what Oh, your link up Pass me the gonga Pass me the gonga Welcome back to the show. It's like seriously on R2 TV, and this is X. Expression. Expression. You're supposed to say expression. Speak louder. Expression. Yeah, expression. No, not, not expression. You got like expression. expression. Okay, so what am I supposed yeah, to do? It. No, you're like expression. Nobody heard you. <laughs> expression. Okay, so today on expressions, we're talking about your selling points. Our selling point. What is your selling point? Go on Facebook and put a comment on Twitter and on Instagram. On Facebook is R2TV, on Twitter is R2 underscore TV, and Instagram is R2TV. Remember, the phone lines are open. You can always call in. And we have Mario in the hole! Yay, yay. 
<laughs> no, you didn't do that well. It's, yay! <laughs> okay, first question, definitely. Everybody's <laughs> expecting this question. My boom, 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 boom. What's the selling, selling point? Selling point. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I got like a lot too, seriously, because uh -huh. I'm just that person that uh, I'm bringing a whole lot of stuff to the to the table. Mm. You understand? Uh, my sound is unique. I have a blend of um, Afro pop, uh, yeah. raga, dancehall. <laughs> I'm very versatile. I rap too. Okay. Um, so most of them points, yeah. I'm very smart. <laughs> yeah. Four point four seven architecture. Oh shit. Whoa, okay, um, designed the biggest merchandise in Nigeria so far, Alabam. Mm. Wow. So I'm that artist. I'm that singer that has the business side of him. So. So, um, yeah, so, so on point. So, uh, that means you don't have a selling point. You have selling points. Selling points. <laughs> Plenty S. No, you S, know what? S, S, I think, S, S, I think S, S, selling points is... From, <laughs> listening to him speak, I think basically I'll just round it up to his selling point is Myro. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, Myro, one question. Nice. So, like, what's your relationship status? Single. Hey, ladies, did you hear that? <laughs> hey, With all of that, he's been selling He's a single business here. man. <laughs> he's single. Nah. You know what? Hit him up. I'm sure he'll be... Yeah, you're a good guy. Now. All right, but but Myra, though, I want to yeah. get your own definition because I listen to you speak and I have to say the smart bit, 100%. Point, yeah, yeah, yeah I try. So, yeah. <laughs> what is your definition of selling points? Okay. Um, selling points, uh, unique selling points or unique selling proposition. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, um, it's a term that expresses uh, that um, thing that stands you out from your competitors. Mm. You know, very mm. simple. Um, mostly it's just advertising. You know, okay. and in any kind of business you're doing, actually, you should have a point that makes you very different from your competitors. Stand out. Yeah, so I think in every business that people do, it's important that you actually outline what makes you stand out. Mm -hmm. Then you use that point, you know, that thing mm -hmm. to climb, you know. Mm -hmm. right. Right, that's, that's really cool. Now, yeah. Maro, hit, Maro hit the business side of selling point. Okay, I want you to hit the relationship side of selling point. Like, define selling point based on relationships. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Why, is, why, why am I the one that has to do it? Because you're the lecturer, you know how to educate us on stuff like this. <laughs> okay, guys, when I think of your selling point, I'm thinking, oh my God, you guys are making me, okay, you know what, forget it. I'm going <laughs> to say, so when I'm thinking of selling point, I'm thinking in relation to, as you said, your unique quality, that mm -hmm. thing that makes you you. When we're looking at relationships, your selling point in your relationship, relationship wise, basically, mm -hmm. is your ability to like deal with certain things the way other people might not be able to handle it. Mm. Like maybe if some other girl was not able to like keep the guy because she was constantly jealous, your selling point would be the fact that you are very laid back and you don't have issues with your guy just talking to other girls. Like mm. seriously, what's the issue? Mm. He can have girlfriends. Okay. And then you get that kind of thing. Uh -huh. So basically your selling point is your ability to contain certain situations, to be able mm. to handle, handle things differently from your peers. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like the, if I were like me, for instance. Uh -huh. I was waiting for this. <laughs> yeah, no, let's go. Don't worry for Lafala is a Jewish man. Just leave me. <laughs> me, for instance, I'm not the jealous type. Uh -huh. So that yeah. works for me. Because uh -huh. I would not be, the, I'm not the one that's going to go through your phone and check through it. Maybe mm -hmm. your previous girlfriend was that kind of person that True. would take your phone, sneak, sneaking, no. He said, no, no. So True. your selling point should be your confidence, basically. Okay. So if you're confident to yourself, that is a major selling point. Hmm. That like tops everything that every other person is willing to sell out. Wow. Honestly, you're like Amazing. DG in this Amazing. situation. I'm Wait, just Fala, saying. Fala, do, you, do you see the connection? Nah, I saw it since the beginning. You see the connection? <laughs> single, single. And I say, I heard but I think every girl, every girl goes through their guy's phones. So I don't know. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, ah, she doesn't do it. Okay, 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 okay let's, anyway. let's, just, let's just trust her on that one. Like, seriously, come on. Who wants, who wants to go through his boyfriend's phone or his girlfriend's phone? Like, who wants, I don't have a girlfriend. You see, that, if, you had, you like if, I had, if I had one, I don't know. Because probably, you know the thing, eh? I think, personally, maybe my fear of being... In one mm -hmm. for a long time has been that issue of jealousy. Do you, do you understand? I like owning. <laughs> okay. Do you understand? Yeah. I like, do you understand? I like owning. Don't so, shout. Do you understand? So if I can't own like 100%, then I don't know. But, so I'm still waiting for that person. I'm like really going to. But you know, you know, you know, in this our age and time, like, man, sharing is life. And, yeah, and that's the truth. <laughs> that's the problem. So I'm it's like, really okay, I like this girl so much. But the thing is, I know and she's so pretty. So it's definitely that like some other guys are going to be like, you know, marking on her stuff. But, <laughs> I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. It's just the I truth know. in our generation. Do you understand? So you're really the hard. jealous type. Damn. Very extremely. jealous. Can't you, can't you hear how he's talking? <laughs> okay. 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 So let's, let's still kick back into the topic. That was a little yeah. retro, uh, you know, shaking off. So, Fola, you handle the talent side of 
um, selling point. She's handled business side, basically. She's giving us relationship. I want you to handle the talent because you look like you know, that. Well, thing. basically, when I say talent, I don't know. For, on my own side, I think my selling point is my look, really. Mm. My look, most of the time, uh, gives me things that I want. When I yeah, it gives me an edge. Not like I'm the finest person in the world or I'm yeah. the ugliest person in the world. True. Just a particular look. I look different from most people. At least that's what other people always tell me. Okay. That I don't look. So I think on that part, my look gives me my selling. That, that's my selling point, my mm -hmm. look. For other people, it could be the way they talk. It could be the way they act. You could go inside some people. Maybe you go for an audition or something. Yeah. And uh, you have this deep voice. You have everything. And mm -hmm. then exactly what they're looking for. Mm. That could be their selling point. Selling okay. points are done in different ways. Totally okay. different ways. You took personality. I told you to take talent. Talent, talent. I, well, I, I, I chose to take personality. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> All right. All right then. So I'm going to take a few comments uh, on social media, on Facebook. Uh, let's see what some people had to say about, uh, you know, selling points. So, uh, enjoy. Lizzie said swagalicious. Mm. I'm not so sure what, what that is, but swagalicious. I think, I, think I get it. She's probably saying her selling point it's is her swagalicious swag. nature. Okay, so okay, she's, cool. She's just swagoo like that. Okay, so uh, <laughs> McDonald Kofi says, I don't know, people just seem to like me without a common reason. Do you, do you think mm -hmm. that's possible? For people to uh, just like you without a common reason? Well, some people are actually very likable. And okay. that's my point. Me, if me. you're likable, the there's something about you it's that's likable. No, just no, aura. Aura. It just comes naturally. You come into a place and we just Everybody want to just be I've not messaged people. Really? <laughs> when the first time you saw me, you liked me now. I didn't like you. How do you know I liked you? You're not in my mind. Oh, yeah. I'm just kidding. Moving forward, uh, Marison Perry Rich says, uh, for me, I would say my selling point is my first impression. Yeah, I was very, very pleased with this comment. Why? Because I think this guy has, you know, brains. Now, for, like, having a first impression uh, as your selling point means, basically, when you see someone the first time, you hit the nail. Yeah. Do you get? You don't have time to wait for a second chance. That yeah. first time you've impressed that person, the person feels wow. You know, one yep. second though. Okay, guys, phone lines are open. So you know what, Colin, let me yeah, know what course. your selling point is, cause I want to know. Yeah. Okay. So let me let me call the phone numbers for you: zero eight zero nine one two 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 eight three eight four and eight five and eight six. So call it zero eight zero nine one two 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 two. Eight three eight four eight five eight six. What nah, two, 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 two. <laughs> yes, two, That's two, four times. Two, 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 okay. two. Like four, yeah, two. just take your phone and like a video game type two. You know? Yeah. Video okay, game. and also go on Facebook <laughs> comments. So let's take uh, one last comment. It's, this is Anuni who Bethel Chi Chiago Zim. Uh, he says, I feel my composure and decisiveness does it. Hmm. Mm. That is that is that sounds like something he's going to say. <laughs> yeah, not deep. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not that nerdy. Oh. Don't get that. Not nerdy. I mean, like like smart way of talking. Yeah, you know. probably, probably. Okay, but for like, what you said. <laughs> really, I don't think. Overall, I outside the look, overall. Ha! Ah, I've not figured it out yet. <laughs> <laughs> really, really, I don't know. Okay, oh, pretty cool though. But but I think some people take that selling point thing. Uh, it to is like too to, yeah, to like a totally different level. You see some girls, they, they say, oh, my bust is my selling point. My behind <laughs> is my selling point. My face but is my... But it could actually be your selling point. It no, could. but seriously, no, guys, I don't think, can you I don't... blame them? Don Jazzy was the one that gave us a completely the prince. different... The prince. Sorry, the prince, but they're, not, the they're family. What, you know. <laughs> yeah. he, they, he gave us like a okay, completely... Okay, sorry, I think we have a call. Oh, do we, we do? Hello, hello, hey. hello. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello, this hello. is Malik on the line. Hello, please, could you speak up? This is Malik on the line. Malik, Malik. man! <laughs> what, what's yeah. your name? Where are you calling from? Um, where are you calling from, Malik? Yeah, I'm calling from Lagos, Nigeria. Hey. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. So, Malik, first off, define selling point and tell us what your selling point is. Yeah. To me, I think uh, selling point is what makes uh, people like you most. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So, what makes people like you most? Okay, so uh, what is Malik, your selling exactly. point? What's your selling point? Yeah, let me talk based on a uh, relationship. Mm. Okay. okay. Let me help. Let me let me help her. Okay. Uh -huh, thank Let's you. Help her. <laughs> okay. Yeah, your selling point with your girl can be the way you handle things, like other guys don't do. Okay. Like um, the way you do it naturally. All right, All right. Uh, Malik, are you in a relationship though? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm single presently. Why did it take you so long to say you're single? <laughs> <laughs> you, he wasn't sure. He wasn't sure. Okay, Malik, we have Mario in the house. We want to make a shout out to Mario. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, go ahead, go yeah. ahead. 
Yeah, I, I like him personally. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Selling point. Do you, you have the Alabama shirt? <laughs> no, I don't. You should go and get it. Exactly. Get it was made by Myro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> All right, Malik, thank you for calling. Ah, My, so, Myro, yeah, well, th th okay, he's still there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, stay tuned and don't put that so comment much. on Facebook. Go and put your <laughs> comment Thanks on Facebook. For calling. Malik. Yeah, uh, Malik was saying something. Okay. Sorry, to cut you. Malik was saying something. He said, uh, basically, your selling point is what makes people like you. Yeah. Now, I won't agree 100%. Why? Because I feel your selling point, you could have a selling point that people don't like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'll come. I'll continue with that but comment. I, we have another call. I, I, okay, there's one. We have another call. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Hey. Hello. Wagwan. Hello. 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 Hold on, you're the one that's scary yeah, now. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Come up, come up, come up. Hello. Oh, I think we lost that call. No, no, no. I, I think doubt. It. I think oh, we lost like, that you call. You just said it. I mean, lost you. You did that. It was you. You said it. It's not me. It was you. It was, you. It was totally you. It was okay, you. Okay, so uh, I will say something. Uh, like, so, Myro, based, based on what Malik said, yeah. do you think it's true that your selling point, or do you agree that your selling point has to be what makes people like you? I totally agree. Selling points, that is just in, what he said, explain it very, very, you know, basic and simple. Yeah. In okay. simple English what people like about you. Mm. So I think that is what is totally right because okay. it's what makes you different. Sir, and we have, a, sorry, yeah, sorry, we have another call. Another hello. call in the house. Yeah, hello. Hey. Yeah, yeah hello. good afternoon. Good What's afternoon. your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Edo State. My name is John. Ha, hey, John, John from Edo State. How are you? Oh, me, but yeah, yeah. And you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my contribution about, hello. Yeah, yeah we can hear you. you. Yeah, my contribution about uh, the seller point. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell a point to me what it means. Mm -hmm. To me, point is a unique term that makes you different from others. Yeah, mm. okay. Uh, okay, and John. So what's your selling point? People say you and it is amazing, you know? Mm. Something special, something mm. different entirely. That when people say you, they say, oh, wow. This is yeah, that is the true. selling point, you know. Hey. You know, when uh, a musician is saying this is my selling point, you know, it makes a difference. A thing that makes him unique. Mm. Okay. I don't know if you understand. Yeah, of course, we understand. get your point. Sorry, John, can I ask you something? Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what is your selling point? <laughs> my selling point is my style. Your what? Sorry. My style. My style. Oh, your style. Oh, oh, oh this guy must have a dead style. That was, that was, that was, that was so fresh. I think John, like, I'm curious. I'm sure so we all now, want to. The way I will approach a lady might be different from the way other guys will now approach a lady. Hmm. Oh, 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 that's a show of yourself. Oh, 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 this guy, Mario, is contacting the lover man. Put it on, on the spot. Too. I actually thought he was talking about style in the sense of being dressed. You, I, am I with you? Are you with me before? Yeah, we are yeah, with you. Listen to you. Okay. So a thing that is different that people say in you and they are very very happy and mm. that is your selling point. Mm. Oh, okay, right. um, John, please. What is your yeah. style? Your style exactly. What style? My is style, you? like me or like me. I won't lie to you people. I'm a very special person, you know, <laughs> and I deal with special bits. Hey, ah, hey <laughs> John, you're busting our head. I'm looking at scared. All right, man. John. You know what you do for me. <laughs> okay, I want to hear from you. I want you to go on Facebook. It's R2TV on Facebook, and I want you to put oh. that comment. All right. All right. Yeah, look for okay. the like, seriously, Brown, and put that your comment. We like what you said. We are in tune with you. You are so, totally uh, awesome. Yeah, keep watching the show, John. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you for Thanks calling. So much. Wow. Man, my you met your match. Like, what, seriously, man. What, the guy just took it off. You know, I, I, <laughs> straight up. According to what Malik said, I uh -huh. read something. What I read about selling points is something that attracts people to you. Mm. Special for so I think Malik is kind of no, right. I, I, I would agree more with John. Why? Because John says something unique that makes you stand out, that makes you different, that makes people see you differently. differently okay. But Malik said, I, I'm not saying what Malik it's said is totally wrong, wrong. But I'm saying he said it's something that makes people like you. Mm -hmm. I might have a selling point that you don't like, but it's my selling point. Yeah, I no, agree yeah, with no, you somehow. I, I don't understand. But I think the selling that's, that's a little bit contradictory because if you have selling points, it's a selling point. Exactly. Mm -hmm. People are buying it. People are have mm -hmm. to simple buy it. English. Okay, so, let's notice the fact that when we're talking about selling, we're talking about your unique. Yes. Your character. unique feature. It's the uniqueness yeah, that unique makes feature. people like you. Makes yeah. Okay, let's people look get at the workplace, for instance. Okay. At work. Your okay. boss likes you because of that, your mean nature that gets the work, the job done, done compared to the dude that is very sluggish. The other people at work might not like you because of that. But that is the thing that is making your money. That's my okay, point. Okay, that, that's, 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 yeah, like that's, 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 that's like an example. That's like deeper. <laughs>
I'm just a man. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, guys. So you guys should make sure you keep those comments coming in and uh, keep, uh, call, keep, keep the calls coming in. Uh, am I selling point? Hmm. Do I have a selling point? I don't know. Do you, want me, do you want me do to you like have count a selling down point for you? I don't do have, you have a selling point. I don't, exactly. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I have one particular. I think I'm like married. Yeah, like married. Uh, like married. No, but then I don't have that businessy thing. Uh, okay, if you're trying to make money out of everything, right? Like, like, but you studied architecture. Yep. While in school, what was your selling point? In school. Wow. Uh, in school, I think that that money thing was all, it's always, always been there for me. Do you understand? Because from my year one, I, w I was always that guy doing shows, you know, in school. Mm. I got artists come over, mm. got TVs come over, you know, I flipped it to money. Mm. To, to get into my show, you have to wear my t-shirt, yeah, totally uh, you know, uh, do you understand? So, I'd always had it in mind from, you know, just, do you understand? So, uh -huh. the music has been there, but I've had that business side of me ever since. Mm. So, in school, I was just like, that. Always had something to do with business, you understand? So, no, no, Aki, no, I love Aki so much. I love drawing so much, and I could do without stress. Oh, yeah. wow. You know, Aki yeah, was something I could do. I, like. I could wake up in the morning and yes. without yeah. even studying so hard for it, I could just, you know, Eight go through it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, still a selling point. What we're talking before we even got into all this, we're talking mm -hmm. about people that take selling points very literally. You were saying something about the prince. Yes. So, in his music, he would say, "What's your selling point?" You get because some people now <laughs> look at selling point as your Major, as your best physical you know, anatomy. You know, it, it actually is in line kind of with selling points. No, yes. that's what, maybe, maybe in terms with what John said, mm -hmm. that would totally like, because he likes the very sexual girls, you know. So, <laughs> well, if you know your selling point is your boobs or your, you know. Behind. You know, exactly. Then Behind. some people look at it like that, but I think when we're looking at it generally, mm. it's, def it's just your unique characteristic. It's not, it's not a tangible thing that you can see. No, my marriage, you have something that you see. So, like, some girls got some selling points. You, like, excuse me. I understand. I understand. <laughs> no, okay, now. Sorry, let me just give you one example, yeah? Okay. Okay, maybe the unique selling points of South African girls. Mm. Mm. I, I'm just trying to say what that's a compliment, mm. like I said. Because oh, I, I was in Cape Town, man. They all have, you know. Selling <laughs> points. Do you understand? So, I think. Certain points, it it transcends different definitions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I think it could be physical. Yeah, it could be physical. It could just have different meanings for, to different people. Okay, exactly. so you basically, know? it could be physical. It could yeah. be now, characteristic. Now, I, I have yeah. something to say about the physical selling point. True, you could have a physical selling point, like he said. Yeah. In Cape Town, we have a lot of girls with the, you know, the ha <laughs> hallelujah. Now, but still, I appreciate your Nigerian girls. Like of so course, they're pretty. Now, uh, they're pretty. Nigerians are, Nigerians are, Nigerians are, Nigerians are, they're very beautiful. They're pretty. They're pretty. But yeah. then. Still on that physical selling point, I think sometimes some girls take it so literally that it affects their minds. Mm. Some girls see, oh, I'm beautiful. Oh, I have a good front. I have a good back. I have a sexy body. I have a flat stomach. That's my selling <laughs> point. And then they do not take the time to think that. about selling points that are not physical, abstract selling points, creative selling points. Mm. Yeah, that's you easy phys um, but Focusing you know, on their physical attributes to yep. their brain actually but the goes too much. physical attributes could actually get you money too. Yeah, your physical. <laughs> it could get you yes. money. Get you. It could be a model. It could be a supermodel. Yeah, but is it every most girl? of the time you we don't even see models vixen. that are voluptuous yeah. like that. Okay, let's say Kim K is like a line that happened for mm -hmm. us now. Mm -hmm. But right. before Kim Kardashian, models were the stick thin girls. Yes, yes, they were. Well, okay, let me not use models. Um, video vixens. <laughs> Is that now, now, I want to ask job. you a question. It's, it's a job, yes. So, I'd like to ask you a question. You have a video vixen mm -hmm. who shakes all uh, her assets, she does videos, mm -hmm. and makes money. And yeah. then you have a hot business administrator yeah. that uses her brains. And then when she gets to a point where, you know, stuff has to fall in, she looks at the man, and the man is looking at her, and he's like, you know what, because of your shape, I'm going to give you this job. She's not basically doing, she has not done anything yet with the man, mm -hmm. whoever he is. Yeah. But just, you know, there are, there are men like that, big men, yeah, that yeah. just like how you are, and they're like, wow, I'm going to give you this contract because of this. Yeah. Yeah. Now, who makes more money? Okay, what about, what, what about, what about, what about the video vixen that gets money from her, from, from her playing roles in videos Finish. and investing in other businesses? Okay. Okay. You might not know. That's, that's, that's <laughs> where we talk about using <laughs> you know. your physical and your mental attributes together. What you guys were saying? Well, like, some no, no, people, no, no, no. Some people actually just use their... That's my point. <laughs> some people don't, yeah. some ladies don't go the, the you know, further miles to use... What's up the there? intellect. They just want to use. Maybe they're okay with what they're getting from their selling point. Ah, you're you're no. very, very huge. What I know about <laughs> what I know about using physical attributes to get stuff. Yes, you would use your body to make the money, but the fact is that money is not gonna last. How because, do you know? Should I tell you why? Because you didn't you, you didn't use your head to think of how to invest and make more. Mm -hmm. You I probably just went to get more clothes to wear and then do more videos and then yeah, and then yeah, the money keeps coming. And then later on you get old and then you're 
You have bad Yeah, that's you my point. Oh, then you, you get the man you agree with that. No, see what I'm trying to say, yeah? You can't be video victim with yourself. No, during that time... You have some 57-year-old video During that time of her being a victim, she's getting money. And you don't know she's probably investing. No, True. No, no they, they're not gonna come out. They're not gonna come out to tell you because the truth is, there's a lot of stuff that goes that, that goes on behind the scenes that we don't know. Mm. So she could be that big, you know. She's everywhere. People like her. She she may be all loud and everything. Mm -hmm. I just think she's dumb, but she's not. Exactly. No, she's, no, no, she's got no, she's no, got no, a no, manager. She's got a manager that is exactly. giving her the right decisions to okay. make that all, all that money and stuff. All right. So uh, but, guys, the talk of selling points is oh so long. Yeah. You know we can never end here. We continue on social media. On Facebook is R2 TV. On Twitter is R2 underscore TV and Instagram is R2 TV. Now, everyone is going to give their last um, you know, <coughs> speech on selling um, points. Selling points. Exactly. Starting from Myro, then to Oge, then, then to, to Fala, uh, then, then to, I'll end it up. Uh, so, like Myro, let's go. Let's go. Oh, right. Well, selling points, like, like I said earlier, is that unique feature that makes you stand out from other people. Mm -hmm. And I just believe everyone's got that, that thing, you know, try to discover yours and just... Make the best use of yours. Oh, man, man, you understand? I'm feeling you. I just Straight up. Feel I, I don't want to mince words. <laughs> you understand? Make the best, best use of your selling points yeah. to be able to affect our generation too. No, mm. it's, not, it's not about money. Yeah. Money is one thing, but ah. at the end of the day, to affect our generation that after time you've gone, you know, um, you they talk about you. A legacy. Yeah, there's a legacy behind. behind so. Okay, connection. guys. When I think of selling points, I think of, the, like we said, the characteristics that makes us special. But let's not forget the fact that what you see as your own personal selling point might be just the same thing for another person. Now, what the difference with both of you is the way you turn yours around, the extra effort that you put in to make yours even more better than the other person. So that's just it for me. If you have something about yourself that you see as a major thing and somebody else is similar with you, then try and make it better. Ah, okay, we'll never stop. Work. Okay, we'll never stop. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Let's, problem. Voila, let's run it up. Voila, I'm just going to say, uh, your selling point is that special, unique feature or characteristics that makes you, you know, attractive or mm. attractive to people. Mm. And uh, for me, she you use your selling points the positive way. That's just mm. what I want to say. Don't use it in a negative way. Yep. Like, we are talking about something. Okay, let's just <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm, first, I'm going to do two, two things. First, I'm not going to say your selling point is your unique special major. Uh, we know that's what it is. <laughs> but then your, your selling point is what makes you different from the next person. Your selling point mm -hmm. is what makes Fola Fola and what makes me me. My selling sense. point is what makes him Myra. <laughs> okay, selling point is what makes her Ogie. So to you guys out there that don't know what your selling point is, I've not discovered what it is, sit back, take a time, chill, get a glass of juice, you know, get food <laughs> or anything. About sit back. Point. You don't have to think much. It Just happens. look at yourself and feel every day when you move, when you do stuff, what makes you you? What makes people identify you as you? And your you find face, it out. Yeah, face. so go on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Yeah, so we've come to the end oh, of the Explosions. Now, Myro would perform, but before Myro comes up, we have some surprise performance for you. Yeah. Guys. Yeah, he's going to come here and he's going to strum his guitar for a certain person. It's gone. Yes, it's gone. Strum his guitar. It's gone. Yeah, guys, so uh, next up, we have a surprise performance. Yeah, I'm not going to say the name of the person. Oh, I wanted him to know. When, the name. when he comes, he says. Okay, no, okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> Body Matrix. My name is Tulu Ajayi, and you're watching Short in Short. This is Girls Pod, where we chill, gist, and most of all, have fun. <laughs> My name is Ruby Gang, and you are here to watch the Ruby Gang edition of High on Fire. High on Fire. Yeah, what was the crazy one? Don't be deceived. I'm She's crazy. Mm. Yes.
our super script countdown show. I'm your main guy, Ilo, with the flow. You know how we do it. And I am with the flow. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Skype, you name it, there's also Vine. We are entertainment at its best on RTT. Keep watching RT. 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 RT TV. This is cool DJ Jimmy Jad, you know. RT TV. Keep it locked every day, you heard? Seem so close, but you're not there. I wanna love you, but I can't. I wanna love you, but I can't. I wanna love you, but I'm so scared. You seem so close, but you're not there. I wanna love you, but I can't. One day we will love. One day we will burn. Oh, one day we will raise a family, but that day may never come. I see the world in your eyes, but when you blink, I fade throws down. Oh, you want yes, we yes, not the way. And I wake up from this dream. I wanna, I wanna love you, but I can't. I wanna love you, but I'm so scared. You seem so close, but you're not there. I wanna love you, but I can't. I wanna love you, but I can't. I wanna love you, but I'm so scared. You seem so close, but you're not there. I wanna love you, but I can't. Yeah. What's up on a dream? We were young and free We used to think we would raise a family But it was only a dream I'm alone in this dream Wishing so hard to wake oh, To a dream that isn't a dream To reality I wanna, I wanna love you but I can't I wanna love you, but I'm so scared. You seem so close, but you're not there. I wanna love you, but I can't. So I sleep, oh, with my eyes wide open. Oh, be somehow by some miracle, you will walk through that door and wait all night. I'm gonna wait for a time Until this dream breathes back to life And you remember that first kiss Aww. One day we will laugh ah. that that One day so we will burn oh. <laughs> oh, One day we will raise a family <laughs> That day has come um, ah, she love you a lot. Okay, guys, that was so cool. That was day dire. Yeah, we got, we told you guys it was supposed to be like you know, 
Uh, super cool surprise performance. And yeah, and was... be us away. But you said you want to love me, but you can't. Why yeah. can't you love me? Uh, I just don't know. It's just... <laughs> no, no. It's not that. It's you. That's the problem. It's you. Don't okay. Know. okay, Dedai, how do we follow you? Twitter, Instagram, real quick. Yeah, on um, Twitter, you can follow me at Dedai or Daniel. Mm -hmm. Daniel, Daniel, yeah, straight up. Yeah. Okay. So, so follow Daniel. Daniel. Uh, I'm pretty sure he'll try to love you, even if he can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, so we have Myro up next. Yeah, Myro yeah, is coming. coming up. So we all have to ball out while they still try to sort out their love. <laughs> Myro might just steal her from no, you, though. It's sorted out. Welcome to Body Matrix. And you're watching Shorts in Short. This is Girls Pod, where we chill, gist, and most of all, have fun. My name is Ruby Gang, and you are here to watch the Ruby Gang edition of High on Fire. High on Fire. Yeah, what was the crazy one? Don't be deceived. I'm She's crazy. Mm. Yes. I'm your main guy, Ilo with the flow, you know how we do it, and I am with the flow. <laughs> YouTube, Skype, you name it, there's also Vine. We are entertainment at its best on RT TV. Keep watching RT. 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 RT TV. This is cool DJ Jimmy Jad, you know. RT TV. Keep it locked every day, you heard? I'm not 
It's been like seriously on RTV. Yeah, it's been like seriously on RTV. We had so much fun. We had so much fun. And now we've come to the end of the show. We've come to the end of the show. Yep, so I remain Illus Hello with the flow. And I remain Fola. And I'm this is okay. And that is my role. My role. Yeah, so you guys join us next week, Sunday. See you next week, Sunday. Peace out.